In today's video, I'm going to show you how to personalize your Xbox streams to Twitch using Lightstream without a capture card. We're going to run through how to set up Lightstream, get your game into your project, and add overlays, alerts, and more with our editor, as well as show you how to control your stream. You will need an Xbox and a laptop or PC for initial setup, and you can also use a keyboard and mouse with your Xbox and use the Edge browser. First thing you're going to want to do is visit golightstream.com slash gamer and hit personalize your console stream. From there, you can sign up for a Lightstream account with your Twitch information. Since this is your first time logging in, you'll need to select a subscription plan. All plans will be able to allow you to stream from your Xbox, and they even include a seven day free trial that can be canceled at any time. Once your account has been created, Lightstream will create your first project for you. You can create multiple projects for different show setups and gamer projects are the only project type that can receive a feed from your Xbox. You can tell if you're in a gamer project by the purple bar or looking at the label here. Next, let's take a look at our project settings. I'll name mine Xbox and set the resolution to 1080p 30fps. Since I'm streaming from my Xbox, I'll need to enable the auto live option which tells Lightstream which project to send your game feed to. The project will automatically start sending the overlays to your channel when it receives the feed. So you can go live even when you don't have studio open. The canvas area is where you can position and preview what's going out to your stream. Now that we're done with our project settings, we can start designing our scenes. The layers panel on the left is where you can add new capture sources as well as media. As you can see, there are a bunch of different layers you can add to custom customize your stream. First, let's get the live feed from my Xbox. The game source layer displays whatever your Xbox is broadcasting. You should also keep in mind that if you add your camera or microphone from your Xbox, it'll come through as a part of your game source layer. Let's say I'm wanting someone discovering my stream for the first time to know who I am. So for that, I'll add a branded overlay image via the image layer with my logo. Dynamic content like a follower alert or displaying a subscriber account is a great way to engage your audience and encourage more active participation in the stream. There are many third-party integrations you can use, but I'm going to add a Rainmaker layer. Rainmaker is a full overlay editor that supports interactions like alerts, tipping, as well as a chat bot. I've already set up an overlay on Rainmaker.gg, so this is a snap to add to my project. All third-party integrations, including Rainmaker, are web-based. So just copy the URL from whatever integration you want to add and paste it here to load it into your project. This is looking great so far, but let's say I wanted to add a bit more production value to the stream. I can do that by adding a starting soon video loop to run for a bit before I start playing. This is where scenes come into play. You can find them down here at the bottom, and I'm going to add a new scene and rename it to something descriptive. In this case, I'll name it starting soon. Okay, now let's add the video clip that I've already uploaded to my project. I want my starting soon scene to be the first to display when I go live. So I just drag it into the starting scene position. Now that we got our gamer project set up and our source is looking how we want, we're ready to go live. In this case, I'm gonna hold down the Xbox button on my controller, and navigate over to the Xbox capture and share menu. Go to live streaming, more options, and then set the destination to Lightstream. Make sure that the resolutions in your Xbox Twitch dashboard and in your gamer project match before going live. For 1080p, choose whichever bitrate option that best represents the upload speeds on your network. And then when you're ready, start streaming. Instead of going directly to Twitch, your Xbox will now broadcast to Lightstream, which will add all of your personalizations before passing it onto your Twitch channel. You'll notice you can see a live feed of your Xbox broadcast in your game source layer to confirm that everything is working as expected when you're live on your live scene. Of course, our stream will begin on your starting scene, but when you're ready to switch, simply click the scene you want at the bottom of the project. If you don't have a computer or you can't be near one while playing, you can use use our mobile remote from any mobile device to change scenes while live. That's it. Now you're set up to stream like a pro. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos on the Gamer Project, click the playlist on the screen now to see even more information about this platform. We'll see you there.